Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. I am Chad. I'm the reseller Rockefeller. Today is April the 27th. It is Saturday, so you know what that means. We're out at estate sales. I'm going to uh, a couple of community sales. I'm going to a bunch of garage sales, and there is a couple of estate sales uh, that actually start later on in the day. So uh, I have a good feeling about today. I have a very good feeling that I'm going to be able to find some stuff and uh, right now we just pulled in to the first community sale. It's in a retired, uh, like a retirement community. And I found some really good stuff here before. So I'm really excited and uh, I forgot to bring my chest mount. So I won't be doing too much filming at the garage sales themselves, but I'll definitely try to get some, uh, get some footage somehow but uh, I'll definitely keep you updated throughout the video. And obviously at the end of the video, I will be doing a full haul video uh, showing you all of the items that I picked up today and uh, giving you the whole rundown on what I paid for the items and uh, why I bought the items. So that'll be later on in the video. Make sure you stick around until the end. Let's go ahead and hit the first garage sale. I see there's one sale there and then there's two or three sales right in front of me. So uh, we're gonna see if we can find some good stuff. Today I'm looking for, for uh, big ticket items, items that are definitely gonna make me a lot of profit. I'm not really shopping around for uh, miscellaneous stuff random run-of-the-mill type items we're looking for good stuff but obviously you never know I'm a picker so you you know you can't be picky you can't be choosy so uh, let's get to the first sale and see what we can find so I just scored uh, a couple of other items I got uh, I got two uh, Star Wars uh, blu-rays I paid a quarter each for those. The only reason I ever buy like Star Wars movies is because they always sell. And then I picked up a uh, pair of, I guess they're called uh, like racing boots. I don't know the exact model. They're Alpine Stars and they're pretty much uh, like almost new. I mean, if you can see the condition of these, these are in like really, really, really good condition. They were five bucks. So. That was a really, really good score. I haven't looked at the exact model, but uh, I've sold these plenty of times in the past and they always sell uh, for really good money. So anyways, we are off uh, to the next sale. Uh, just bought this at a garage sale. It is a, um, it's an Ego. I guess it's like a lithium ion battery. I'm pretty sure it's for like uh, an electric blower or a lawnmower or something. I looked it up online. It seems like the, the battery with the charger is selling for like a hundred bucks. So that's really good. We're gonna try to get over there as fast as possible because it's already 8.45. It started at eight o'clock. So uh, let's get over to that next uh, community sale and see what we can find. Okay, so it is 11.30. I am, uh, I'm finished, I'm done. I could stay a little longer and I probably could find some more stuff, but uh, it's just starting to be, you know, a little bit, you know, slim pickings. I've been to about four or five sales and I haven't been able to find much of anything. So I'm going to call it an end to the day. I'm going to head home and uh, I got a bunch of stuff to unload. I don't know if you can see back there in the back of the van, but I got quite a bit of stuff and uh, I think I did really good today. Once I get back to the house, I'm going to unload it and then I'm going to show y'all everything I picked up and we'll talk about all of the items and how much I paid for them. So uh, let's get back to the warehouse. Alrighty, so I finally made it home. I finally got the uh, the van unloaded. All of the items that I picked up this morning is right here behind me. I'm about to show you all of those items, but before we get into the haul video, I just wanna let you know, I got some really good stuff, and I also got some, you know, run-of-the-mill regular type items as well. I told myself this morning that I wasn't really gonna be going after any of those types of items, but it's really hard to pass up stuff, especially when it's really, really cheap, uh, and it's gonna sell really, really fast. So. All in all, really great morning. I hope that you had a very successful Saturday. For all of you resellers out there, I hope that you were able to go out this morning and find a bunch of really good stuff. I know that uh, some of my subscribers, I know that you're from like northern states and you're not, you know, not yet able to actually go out and hit garage sales. But hopefully one day soon, you're going to be able to get out there and find some good stuff as well. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. The first items that I'm going to show you is uh, some clothing items. They're over there on the clothing rack. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. And then we're going to come over here and look at all the other 
items, which are pretty much all of the hard goods and electronics and things of that nature. Alrighty, so this is an item that I picked up this morning. Now, some of you might look at this and think, why in the world did you buy this item? Well, I am a, you know, a stickler for anything that is vintage and anything that has these really crazy designs and crazy colors. Uh, this is the type of stuff that I go after. And the reason that I go after stuff like this is because it sells. Every time I buy something like this, it flies off the shelf and I sell it within just a matter of days. So if you're out and about and you find stuff like this and you're not buying it, then you're missing out on a bunch of profit because these types of items sell. I actually sold a bunch of vintage snowsuits to a movie prop business up in, I think he was in like Nevada or Las Vegas, somewhere up in that area. Basically, I had about 12 of them listed on eBay. He contacted me. They told me exactly who they were, what they did, and they were interested in buying all of them at one time. They were, uh, they were wondering if I would uh, combine shipping. Anyways, we worked out a deal. I shipped them all of those items all at once, and uh, that's when I really got hooked to buying vintage stuff like this because it really opened up my eyes to the kind of buyers that, you know, that are actually out there looking for items like this. So anyways, this is a vintage, um, it is a white stag. So I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this company. Most of you up uh, probably in the northern states are very familiar with it. But anyways, it comes with the jacket, it has the bib, it has uh, the pair of gloves, so anyways, it's a really good set. You see the price tag. They had it listed at 15. I ended up buying this and another snowsuit uh, for 10 bucks. So really, I only have $5 into this and then $5 into this other one. Now, I'm not sure how you pronounce um, this name, Decent. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. I'm probably butchering it, but it is a uh, I don't know if, I think that's the model number, D310. Anyways, this one is in really, really, really good condition. I don't think that this one was ever worn. It is a very small size, but it's in really good condition. It has the jacket and the bib. Like I said, I bought both of them at the same time, and this was actually purchased at like one of the last yard sales that I actually went to. And that's a, you know, that's why I was able to get it so cheap because Obviously, they didn't sell the items during, you know, the whole day, and I pretty much lowballed them and said, would you do 10 for both? I'm not sure how much they had this one priced for, but uh, anyways, I got $5 each into those. I think they're going to sell pretty quick. This one might take a little longer because it is a smaller size, but I think it's perfect for, you know, any female that's, uh, you know, kind of small and, and thin. Okay, so these are all uh, like clothing items. I'm going to go ahead and set up the camera and then I'm going to show you all of these items one at a time. Okay, so all of the items that I'm about to show you all came from one garage sale. They had a blanket laid out and they had all of these laying on the blanket. Well, once I seen the brand on some of them, I immediately knew that they were pretty much all used for deep sea fishing, uh, crab boats, deep sea fishermen. People like that use these. These are for, you know, to keep you warm, but to also keep you dry. And there, uh, there is a couple of really high end brands and most of, you know, most of anything that you're going to find out there that, that has to do with like anything like deep sea fishing or crab fishing, things that, you know, that are related to very uh, serious like business, it's usually a high end brand and items like that are just not cheap. They're expensive. I've had a, a little bit of experience selling stuff like this because I am here. I, you know, I do live down here in Florida. So we do find stuff like this quite often, and uh, special, especially this brand. So this brand is West Marine, and uh, it's just a really, really good brand. And so this is kind of like a bib, I guess you could call it, you know, coveralls or, or whatever you want to call it. It pretty much just goes over your body. These are in really good condition. I don't think that these were really ever worn. I think these are new. Uh, she had them priced at at four dollars, so that was a really good deal. Like I said, they're in really good condition, so four bucks for those is an amazing deal. 
Okay, next up is obviously uh, this is the jacket or coat, I guess you could call it. This is also by the same uh, company or the same brand, West Marine. And it is uh, like a full waterproof, windproof, weatherproof uh, jacket. And it's in pretty good condition. It has a couple of little marks right here. I'm not sure if that was because it, it had salt water on it or I'm not sure. But, you know, anybody that's going to be buying this item doesn't really care about, you know, little spots. Now, if it was ripped and damaged, then it would affect the value. But just these little spots on it, I don't think that's going to affect the value that much because, like I said, these items are used on big fisherman boats, commercial grade boats, uh, commercial grade fishermen, and uh, anybody that's going to be using these are going to be getting them dirty. They're going to be getting them wet. So, uh, you know, I just don't think it's going to hurt the value. But this one is a medium and it's in really good condition and it matches the actual uh, bibs or, or uh, coveralls, whatever you want to call those. The next one up is another one. This one's yellow. It has the reflectors on the shoulders. This one is a much bigger size. This is a large. And again, this is a West Marine. And I guess that's the model. It's called an Explorer. So uh, look these up. You'll see that these sell for really good money. And uh, again, this one is in really good condition. It doesn't really look like they've ever been used. Maybe they were used like one time and then they were stored away. But uh, basically, you know, when you're talking about clothing items like this, especially items that are, you know, used on commercial grade boats, when you find them, they're usually really, really, really beat up or they're in really good condition like this. So uh, this is another jacket, size large. And we have another uh, pair of bibs, coveralls. Same exact company. These are an extra large. And uh, these are in really good condition as well. Absolutely nowhere at all. These look like they're pretty much brand new. And then I have a, another jacket. So this is another jacket. It is size extra large. So this one probably goes with these because the other yellow jacket was a size medium. But uh, again, really good condition. No rips, no tears. And uh, this is the yellow with the white with the reflectors. Anyways, I got all of these. Like I said, the pants, the bibs were uh, $4 each and the jackets were 5 So I spent a total of $29 on all of this. Okay, so let's move on to the rest of the items that I picked up today. I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much start grabbing stuff. Uh, obviously, I'm going to you know go in no particular order. I can't really remember what garage sale each one of these items came from or what time of the day. I just It's just too hard. But I'm going to go ahead and just pick up each item. I'm going to show you the item. I'm going to tell you how much I paid for it. Most of the items still have their price tags on them. But uh, anyways... This is a Cyber Power PC Scorpion K2 RGB uh, mechanical gaming keyboard. You see, I paid two bucks for it, and it is 100% brand new. It has never been used. I looked inside of the box. It is 100% brand new, and I paid two bucks. I did not look this item up. I pretty much uh, looked at the name and I've, I've sold keyboards made by this company before. So I pretty much knew that it was a good deal for two bucks. So that was a really good score and uh, just another success story. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you this item so I can get it moved out of the way. This is a Yamaha Natural Sound AV receiver, uh, model HTR 5550. This is a pretty decent uh, receiver. It's nothing, you know, it's nothing special, but it's definitely decent. I paid five bucks. He told me it worked. He had no remote. I actually just sold this same exact receiver about two weeks ago, and I think it sold for like 140, maybe 150. Um, not really sure. So, anyways, paid five dollars for it. That was a good buy. 
Okay, so the next item that I'm gonna show you is I got two pairs of women's shoes. These are Birkins. I guess that's how you pronounce it. B-I-R-K-I-S. They, they appear to be in really good condition, even though they have a little bit of, you know, dirt marks on the, on the tops. The soles are in really good condition and the tops, the actual straps and stuff are in really good condition. Not really sure what these sell for. I, I kind of looked them up a little bit and uh, they were so cheap that it, it really didn't matter. So anyways, I bought this one and then I bought this pair of boots. And the funny thing is, is I've never heard of this brand, but I went ahead and picked them up because they were brand new. And she told me they were, I think she said she paid like $100 for them. So I bought both of these for $5. Okay, the next item that I picked up are these Alpine Stars. These are uh, like motor, uh, not motocross, but like for street bikes, basically. So these are the kind of boots that you would wear for uh, like street racing or motorcycle racing. They're size um, 11 and a half. I paid $5 for these and they're in like new condition. I think they, I'm probably going to have to sell them as used obviously because I don't have the box. But as far as, you know, racing boots, I mean, these are pretty much you couldn't ask for better condition, especially when you're talking about a used boot. They're in really, really, really good condition, and the model is uh, SMX5. So uh, these are really good. I did not look these up, but I think these are going to sell for at least 100 bucks. I could be wrong, but I think uh, at least 100 Alrighty, I got some uh, smaller items to show you. I got all of these smaller items right here that I'm about to show you plus a few other smaller items that I'm going to show you, all from the same garage sale. And uh, there's a little story that goes behind this. So I basically got to a garage sale, and there really wasn't anything outside. There was uh, a couple of small tables. They had, like, some dishes, pots, pans, a microwave, a toaster, just a bunch of miscellaneous, uh, you know, cheap items. Me and the woman uh, started talking. She told me that her father just passed away. She ended up telling me that she was just uh, busy the past couple of days moving items out of the house. And that's when I said, well, do you have any other items for sale? She said, yes, there's a few items in the house, mainly furniture items. And I said, okay, well, do you mind if I go inside and take a look? She said, no, by all means, go inside. If you find something you want, just bring it outside. So, I mean, right there is a prime example of exactly what I was talking about yesterday in my video. Putting yourself out there, letting people know that you are a reseller and that you're looking to buy stuff, and always letting people know that you're interested in buying other items because you never know what somebody has. Even though their yard sale had absolutely nothing they had other items inside. And all of the items that I'm about to show you is items that I found inside. And basically, she just looked at all of these items as being junk, not even worth selling. So I got an extremely good deal and I was able to find some really good stuff. And one of the items that I found in this house was actually what I consider to be the best find of the day, which is the uh, 1978 Florida State class ring, solid gold, really nice uh, ring. I'll show you that at the end of the video. It's actually in my office. But all of these small items I threw inside of a bag and then I brought them outside and we made a deal on all of the items in the bag, which came out to be $35. So you tell me if you thought I got a good deal and uh, take a look at all of these items. Okay, so the first item that I'm going to show you is this. Uh, it's just a regular little, you know, point and shoot camera. It's a Sony it is uh, 20.1 megapixels. It's actually in pretty good condition. It doesn't have any like scratches on the screen. I did test it. It powers up. It cuts on. Everything works. So uh, not a bad buy. Next camera is just this uh, Canon. It's a power shot. This is a pretty common camera. I find these pretty much 
quite often. I find these a lot at garage sales. They're just, you know, go-to money makers because people are still buying stuff like this. Even though it's a kind of, you know, an outdated camera, it's not, you know, one of the nicest top-of-the-line point-and-shoots. It's still a camera and it's still a digital camera and people, for some reason, are still buying items like this. I just recently shipped out an older point-and-shoot and then a couple days ago, I think I sold one as well. So, I mean, I still sell these. I know plenty of other resellers that still sell these. But I don't pay for, you know, I don't buy these for much. The only way that I'm going to buy these is if they're extremely cheap. They did not come with uh, the chargers, but I do have a charger. It's like a universal charger um, that you can buy online. And I always keep them for, uh, you know, situations like this, where if I get a camera, I can add the charger with the camera plus the battery, and it just boosts, you know, it boosts the value of the item. Next thing I got is a battery charger. Now, this was actually <clears throat> um, not for that Canon. For some reason, it does not fit that battery, but I went ahead and threw it in there anyways, because uh, why not? You know, I can always use an extra charger. Next item that I got is a pair of, uh, obviously, Bushnell. These are just a very small pair of binoculars. Bushnell is a pretty good brand if you're looking, you know, looking at binoculars. Always, you know, take a look at them. Make sure the lenses are in good condition. Make sure that you're buying something that can actually be resold. But, uh, yeah, this is a, a really good pair. I don't think these are going to sell for a lot of money. Probably $30 to maybe $35. Next item that I threw in the bag is this uh, vintage. Well, I wouldn't say it's vintage, but it's new old stock. It's made by the company Cord, and it's a model CA20. It's a chromatic tuner. It's brand new in the box. And I also got the uh, vintage new old stock Seiko. Uh, Quartz Metronom, and that's the model right there. It originally sold for $42.50. I was not able to find this exact model on eBay. You can find uh, SQ44 on eBay, but this is the model SQ44-100. So I think this has the potential of selling for pretty decent money. I'm going to list it pretty high and uh, just see what somebody you know, see what somebody does. I'm going to list it at like 65 bucks and uh, see if it sells. Next item that I picked up is this uh, Moto Act Activi. I'm not really sure what this is. The Ultimate Fusion of Music and Fitness. Basically, it's kind of like a smartwatch. So it has the headphones. It has the, this is uh, the strap that goes around your, your uh your arm and it has the the watch and then it has the actual you know little device that goes inside here i'm not sure how much something like this is worth i don't really i'm an apple guy so i'm not really sure but it has everything that's here it has the charger the manual the headphones the box so i'm gonna have to do some research on this but uh, I definitely threw it in the deal. Basically, I just started throwing stuff in the bag. And uh, I decided to just throw everything in it and hopes, you know, hope for the best. Luckily, uh, she didn't look at any of these items as you know, being anything special. And I got a really good deal on pretty much everything that I showed you. Alrighty, this is a really cool item. This is something that I seen uh, sitting on the desk. This is a vintage uh, Silva. It's a Sweden company, I think. Yeah, made in Sweden. I I forgot the actual name, but uh, it's like a it's it's a compass, obviously. But I forgot the name of of this. But uh, anyways, it's brand new in the box. Comes with the manual. It is a uh, I'm not sure where that goes. But uh, anyways, these are really cool items. Stuff like this is the kind of stuff that I just love selling. It's really easy to list, really easy to sell, and people buy this stuff. I guarantee you that this thing is going to sell within just the first couple of days of me listing it. Alrighty, a couple of other items that I picked up at that same, uh, that same garage sale is this Craftsman Plane. It's in really good condition, and uh, she had this actually priced for a dollar. So 
that's a really good plane. I haven't looked up the exact model yet, so I don't really know exactly what this plane is going to sell for, but I have bought and sold so many of these in the past. I definitely know I'm going to get more than a dollar for it. If I had to guess, I think this is probably going to be, you know, a 30 to $40 plane. Okay, I got another one. This one is a much smaller one, and this one is a little bit older than that one. I think it's missing the handle. The handle would go here, but uh, I'm going to have to look this one up. It says made in the USA back here, but I can't really see exactly the actual uh, maker. I can't really make out what that says, but she had this one priced at 50 cent. These are all really cool items. This is the type of stuff I love to sell. I wish it wasn't missing the handle, but you know, for 50 cent, you can't beat it. Alrighty, the next item that I picked up is these cufflinks. Now, these cufflinks just appear to be just regular cufflinks to the naked, you know, the naked eye or to somebody that doesn't really know how to identify gold. But once I seen these cufflinks and I picked them up and I felt the weight of them, I immediately thought to myself, these might be gold. Let me go ahead and investigate. Sure enough, I looked on the inside and it has the maker's name, which is Hayward. And then it also has on the other side, a 10 K. So these are 10 carat solid gold cufflinks made by Hayward, which is a, a company that I don't really see that often. I find, you know, a, a swank cufflinks, I find, you know, plenty of other uh, makers all the times, but Hayward is not a company that I'm really familiar with, but uh, these were, you know, a really good deal. They're, they don't weigh a lot, so, you know, the gold content is definitely, you know, it's definitely not something that is, you know, really, really expensive, but I'm definitely going to be able to make some money. I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of the items that I picked up. I'm going to go through the rest of these items kind of quick because this video is starting to turn out to be a lot longer than I expected. Anyways, I picked up four of these little wrestling figures. Uh, these were at a garage sale. They were inside of a toy bin and the toy bin said a quarter each. So I paid a dollar for four of them. They're, they're nothing special. These toys are not old. I think they're all from like 2009 or 2010 uh, but these are like like I said earlier these are perfect items to just throw up there in a bulk lot like that I'll do all four of them together and I'll just blow them out really cheap I picked up two movies I got the Star Wars Star Wars uh, obviously these are both blu-rays I checked them they're all of you know all of the discs are in there they're in really good condition I'll probably bundle these up and sell them together these should sell really good. I think I paid either 50 cent or a quarter each. This was at an actual church sale and they had a huge box of DVDs and Blu-rays and they said like 50 cents or a quarter each. Alrighty, another item that I picked up at the church sale. These are vintage. This one is vintage coach. Actually has the coach right there. I'm not really sure of the age but the woman told me that she bought these like 25 years ago. So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they're definitely extremely small. So she must have had a very small waist. This one's coach as well. It definitely, I mean, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. They definitely appear to be real. They have all of the, the you know, the right markings and the numbers. Um, this one, you know, obviously, you know, says coach right there. And it says this is a coach. Da, 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 da. It was made in the United States out of Nubica something. I can't even read it. But anyways, I don't know what they're going to sell for. They were extremely cheap. They were at a church sale. I paid $2 a piece. So four bucks for the two of them if they turn out to be real and uh, maybe they're vintage but by the looks of the stamp on the inside uh, based on my you know knowledge I just don't think they're that that old but she said that she bought them like 20 to 25 years ago another item that I picked up I just bought this because I thought it was super cool uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is absolutely my favorite cartoon uh, they're my favorite characters, and uh, this is just a super cool hat. Uh, it says Calabunga, and then it is made by, 
I want to say this at, yeah, Nickelodeon. So it's a uh, 2013 Viacom. Not really that old at all. Not really worth that much money, but definitely a cool hat. I'll probably just keep this one. I have a pretty, uh, I actually have a pretty impressive, you know, hat collection. I'm probably going to have to start wearing hats soon anyways. I'm starting to go bald. So that one might actually be worn before you know it. Alrighty, so the next items that I picked up. This is really funny. I went to a garage sale and I purchased one of the routers and then I found another one sitting at another table. So I picked it up and lo and behold, it is brand new just like the other one. So I was just blown away. So I paid $5 each. Um, these are the R6250 smart, uh, smart Wi-Fi routers. Sorry about the camera there. I'm trying to get this one open. You can see they still have the plastics on them. You got the power supply. This one has the papers and stuff. I don't know if the other one's missing the papers or not. But anyways, $5 each. That was a really good score. I actually sold this router about a month ago, and if if my if my memory's correct, I think I got like right at a hundred dollars. Uh, but I think it was used, so I'm not really sure what these routers are going for new. I haven't sold one in over a month. This exact model, I'm saying, but I definitely think that it should bring at least fifty to seventy-five, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, I got $5 a piece in them, so that was a really good buy. Okay, the next item that I picked up is this. Uh, this is a battery. This is a Ego uh, lithium battery. I think they are for lawnmowers or something of that nature. They're just a really big uh, battery. I'm pretty sure they go to like lawnmowers. It's a Ego Power 56 volt battery uh, seven ohms, but, uh, yeah, this is a battery. I picked it up at a garage sale. Uh, it definitely works. I was able to test the battery before I purchased it. She actually had the, uh, some kind of like weird looking, I don't know if it was a blower or a pressure washer, but it was electric. Uh, anyways, I hooked the battery up to it. It worked perfect. Uh, basically, she said that she bought the uh, the whole combo like kit where it comes with like everything that you could possibly dream of. And uh, she had a battery go bad and then she purchased a new battery. But the company uh, went ahead and sent her a new battery and a new charger for free. So she pretty much wanted to just sell this one. So I bought this one. This one I paid $15 for. This I looked up and I think this one with the charger... I think I should be able to get at least 125, maybe 150. Alrighty, the next item that I picked up is this Sony. This is uh, called a Dream Machine. It is a CD player. It also has a radio. It does not have the remote, but I do have the manual. And I paid $5. She was asking $8. Or maybe I paid 8 I can't remember right off the top of my head, but I thought I negotiated down. Anyways, I tested the unit. It did work. The CD player worked. Uh, the speakers are built into the side. I kind of like it because, you know, it's kind of an older, outdated unit. But I love, you know, anything made by Sony. Sony makes really good stuff. At least that's my opinion. And I just like the design of it. But I'll probably sell it just because I, I don't see myself using it. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is a really cool uh, one. I've actually sold this model before, and I can't really remember what I got for it. But I definitely know that there's money to be made. I'm going to have to look up the exact model and see what these are selling for, because I haven't sold one in probably six months or so. So uh, we're going to have to look that up and see what it sells for. Alrighty, the next couple of items that I'm going to show you came from the same garage sale. Lots of it is... Uh, I guess you, you, you could call it like camping or hiking bags, things of that nature. So uh, this one says camera bag. This is a Mountain Smith, uh, Golden, Colorado, made in the USA. The model is a day classic bag. It's in really good condition. It has no rips, no tears, no excessive wear. It does have one little paint spot on the bottom. But uh, all in all... For a bag that's supposed to hold, 
you know, camera gear and things of that nature. It's in pretty darn good condition. I got that one for $4. I got another one for $4, the same exact model. Then I got this camera bag, which is made by Tamrac for $2.50. Then I got another Tamrac uh, lens bag for two, or no, that was 75 cents. And then I got this one, which is uh, Think Tank. I think this is for a lens. I'm not 100% sure. It's either for a lens or I think it's for a lens. Anyways, it's made by Think Tank. Um, dollar 50 and it still has the tags on it so the next items that i'm about to show you are shoes these i purchased at like i think this was like my last yard sale that i went to this is a pair of nautica and uh they're not in the best condition they still have quite a bit of life left though and uh, i actually like them a lot if they were my size i would probably wear them but uh yeah all of the shoes that were in this box were two dollars a pair these um, have no uh, shoelaces, so I'm not sure what she did uh, with the shoelaces, but they are missing the shoelaces, but they're brand new. I'm not really sure about the, the actual brand. I've never bought these before. Say Comfort Tech uh, Florsham. I don't know, but they're brand new. And I'm going to have to get some shoelaces or I can list them and sell them without shoelaces. But I think they're going to sell for a lot more if I get shoelaces. And then the next pair is uh, a pair of All Stars Converse. And the reason that I got these is because they were a big size. They're like size 15 or something. So anyways, all of the shoes, they were all $2 a piece. Okay, so I just found an, a couple of items that I actually 100% forgot about. Now, these items are items that I'm probably going to be keeping, but uh, I set them to the side, and so I just uh, forgot, you know, totally to show them to you. So these items came from the same garage sale that I got all of these smaller items from. The garage sale that I told you the woman invited me into her house and she let me just fill up a, bu a bag full of stuff and then I purchased the whole bag of stuff. So if you thought the deal was good uh, with the bag of stuff, you're going to be blown away when I show you what's inside this bag. So I'm going to start with uh, this item, which is you're all going to know what this is in just a second if I can get it out without using my other hand. So this is a Sperry, it's a DSA 500. So I forget exactly what they call this uh, kind of uh, tester, but uh, anyways, this is, you know, uh, for testing like all kinds of different stuff. I'm no electrician by no means, but uh, I've definitely bought and sold these in the past. So uh, that was one of the items that I, I threw in the bag. Then I got this one here, which I think this is the capacitor tester. Yeah, capacitor tester. And this is a uh, MFD 10 made by Supco. And uh, this is a Fluke 1507 insulation tester. So uh, I looked this one up. This These actually sell for really good money. And as you can see that the, the guy that owned this made him uh, a little bag out of uh, a pair of jeans. I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool, pretty unique. It has like Velcro on the top and basically you open it up. And uh, anyways, down there in the bottom is all of the attachments for the Fluke tester. It has all of the wires and all of these different attachments. So all, all three of these items actually came in the same bag uh, along with all of these items. And also in that same bag was the class ring. The class ring was actually inside of a small jewelry, uh, like a cardboard jewelry box. And it had some miscellaneous costume jewelry and it had the, uh, the cuff links and a few other little miscellaneous items. So all of those items was inside the same exact bag. That's unbelievable. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this item or not. I definitely think that I could use it, 
But then again, it's like, I just look at it and I think, you know, how much money I can make off this item. I don't really know yet. We're going to find out later on. I'll keep you updated. If I decide to keep it, then I keep it. If I don't keep it, then it'll definitely be for sale. I'm just not really sure exactly how much it's, how much it's going to sell for. I know that it cuts on. I'm going to have to have my dad look at it. He's an electrical engineer, so he knows how to work one of these things, and uh, he'll definitely know how to test it. Or I think you can just press test. I don't know. I'll watch some videos. I'm going to look it up on eBay to see exactly what they're selling for. But uh, those were three items that I teetotally forgot about. I basically unloaded the van and I set them over there on the toolbox. Alrighty, so this is the Pride and Joy. This is the one item that I found today that I think is one of the best finds. Obviously, I think that the... Uh, the, the last item that I'm about to show you is the best find, but when you're talking about the actual profit margins, I think that this one is most likely going to make the most money. This is a 1978 Florida State University class ring. It is uh, pretty big. It weighs uh, 29 grams and it is 14 karat gold. So, you know, as far as uh, value, this is probably worth at least $450, uh, maybe $4, $450, just melt value. I haven't really looked up the price of gold today. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is a really nice ring. It has a pretty decent looking stone, but, you know, most stones in class rings are not really worth that much money. These rings are not really made um, with the best of the best materials. But it's definitely a super nice ring. Now, I think that this ring is going to sell for more than the melt value or the scrap value because it is a Florida State University uh, ring and it's from 1978. So about four years ago, I sold a vintage Florida uh, University of Florida class ring and it was from 1966 and I got almost $200 more than the actual scrap value of the actual gold. So anyways, this is uh, the ring. Hopefully uh, this inspires you and motivates you uh, to get out there and start looking at jewelry, start to pick up jewelry and, uh, you know, learn about it. There's definitely money to be made. So uh, be on the lookout for stuff like this. Alrighty, this is the last item that I'm going to show you today. And this is the biggest item that I actually picked up today. These are three um, really old antique, what they call soda fountain chairs or soda fountain stools. Basically, these would have set inside of any kind of like general store, um, ice cream parlor that had a soda fountain back in the early 1900s. These are in pretty darn good condition. Now, I have sold plenty of antiques um, in my time, 15 years of reselling. And usually when you find stuff like this, it's always missing stuff. But uh, here's the backs. So just to give you an idea of that one uh, is cleaner than the rest because I wiped it down. So, I mean, that looks really darn good for something that's, you know, extremely old. So basically, um, these are the backs of them. And so these bolt uh, just up under there, just like that. So it, bas it basically makes a, a little chair. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure that this is cast iron. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm probably 90% sure. So let me show you what the bottom looks like. All solid, oh, extremely heavy cast iron. So you can see there, it has all of the original hardware it has the square nuts. Now that's a, a really good way when you're looking at an, an you know an antique or something that you know something like this that had to be made. Look at the nuts. You can always look at the nuts of an item and kind of get a good idea of how old it is. If this would have had the regular you know like uh, hexagon shaped nuts, then it wouldn't have uh, dated you know, that, that far back, but those have the square nuts. This is all cast iron, really heavy duty. The only thing that it has on it is a, uh, the letter N. I haven't been able to find any other markings, 
but uh, I'm going to have to look it over really good. I think these are made by a certain company, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, these are, are definitely a hot item. People uh, all over the country, they're trying to find items like this. People are trying to recreate, um, you know, general stores, ice cream parlors, um, soda fountains, things of that nature. And they're looking to have uh, period correct items like this, you know, stools to put inside uh, whatever it is that they're building or recreating. And this is a prime example of a, a super, super, you know, sweet item that, you know, people just love this type of stuff. So anyways, this is probably my favorite item just because I love stuff like this. I love talking about it. I love everything about an item like this. When do you ever come across something this old, this really, you know, this is just super cool, super unique. Uh, anyways, I'm going to wipe them all down. I'm not going to do anything to them. These are actually the covers of the other three. So basically she sold three of them to her neighbor and then I purchased three of them. I wish I could have purchased all six, but I purchased three of them. I gave her $30 for all three. So that's $10 each. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe them down and then I'm going to put them back together and then I'm going to list them on eBay. I'm not really sure what these are going to sell for, but I'll definitely make sure to keep you updated. Alrighty, so that brings me to the end of the video. I really hope that y'all liked today's video. If you did like today's video, definitely go down there and give me a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It does help my channel out a lot. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. You know, I talk about a lot of different things. Some stuff might not be so uh, informative or, you know, strictly about reselling, but I try to keep the channel kind of uh, interesting. I try to talk about different things and different topics. If you have anything that you want me to talk about, just let me know down in the comment section. Hopefully, you like today's video, and uh, also don't forget to go down to the comment section and let me know what you think my best find was of today. There's no telling, honestly, because a lot of these items I haven't really looked up. I don't really know the value of the boots yet. I don't really know how much those uh, soda fountain chairs are going to sell for. The ring, it might sell for a lot more than I think, so it's kind of uh, you know, kind of up in the air right now. But one thing's for sure, I know how much money I spent today, and I know how many items I have, and I know how good some of these items are. So I know that there's going to be money to be made. And if you did not notice for some reason, this uh, little, you know, this whole pile of stuff that I just showed you has such a wide variety. I mean, there's toys, there's clothing items, there's antiques, there's um, small collectible items. I mean, there's a metronome. I mean, there's all kinds of different things. There's a fluke tester. That's why I like to buy anything and everything because you never know what you're going to come across. And this is a prime example. If I was a reseller and all I bought and sold was toys, I would have missed out on all of this other stuff. So be on the lookout for anything and everything up your knowledge, up your game, and be ready to work harder than your competitors, and be, you know, be ready to get out there early. That's what I like to do. I know that there is tons of resellers out there, so I want to be the first one to the garage sale, and I take it really serious because it's my job. It's my business. This is what puts, you know, food on the table. This is what makes me who I am, and I enjoy every minute of it, and I hope that you do too. Until next time, folks, I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for coming and watching another video. I'm out of here. Until next time, peace.